right first and foremost let to give our praises on and glory unto the heavenly father yahweh basham yahushai basham kakadash the bottom of the apostles and the elders that do rule well a great millstone peace and salutation to the akiam out there pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth we say shalom to you humble and sincere sisters out there as well to the brothers from the gms trying to come you know come up with this lesson entitled we can't comprehend his power right and he is referring to the most high we do really have the ability as mortal men we do really have the ability to fathom the heavenly father's abilities because we ourselves are limited you know mortal men you know we really do have no power but like be a physical level or on a spiritual or a mental level <clears throat> you know like you watch these even the beasts the beasts are the feel you know 10 20 times stronger than an average human being right animals with our own size right same weight bracket will easily overpower us you know and they are all, all, all the thoughts that we think and, and just the way mortal men are the, the way the flesh is we cannot comprehend the things that are above right all all because these scientists they just act as if they know they're so educated and all about what they really did all they do is just look at what around them and give it give it names and try to prove the things that already exist you know scientists they act as if they're greater than the Lord, when in reality, all they're doing is just trying to search up the things that the Lord already created. Things like gravity, they just give gravity a name. You know, boy and the law of buoyancy, and, 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 and uh, Avogadro's law, all these various laws to do with electricity and, and life and physics and all these things. It's just, it's just what already there. You know? Okay, beginning the book of Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 5 55 or 5 55 7 verse 8 okay, Isaiah 55 verse 8 he say for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways said the Lord you could read verse 9 and verse 10 Baba Kesha. He say for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and return it, not tether, but water the earth, and make it, it bring forth the buds, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Come. So the Lord is basically say, he's saying, my thoughts are not your thoughts. So if you look, the way we, we think, it is, that is not the way how the Lord thinks. Right? As a, we, we, we. Our perspective is based upon limited wisdom, right? Even us in the truth, there's only so much that we know, right? You know, you might try to go deep into, into things and uh, you, you, you're screwing up yourself because you, you literally cannot get it. It wasn't made to, to be received yet, right? The Lord, he gave us what we should do to inherit eternal life, right? That is all that we receive. The things that, you know, the scriptures, uh, the wisdom that we have is enough to lead us onto that eternal life but as of right now in these bodies you, you don't really un, you don't really understand you don't really understand the power of the heavenly father you don't really understand the nature of, of the spiritual realm you know you could you could maybe talk about bring out a couple of precepts on it on what has occurred but you don't really understand the inner workings of life because it wasn't it wasn't made to be understood in these bodies you know and it said, it said, the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours. So the man is able, man is easily tempted. The Lord don't get tempted. You see how you could be indecisive. The Lord ain't indecisive to say, you want to do this, but you want to do this at the same time. Or you're getting tempted to do this, and you had a, your thoughts fighting against you. Like how our brains and our bodies just fight against us. Yeah, how about Hashem, how should I do that issue? To say he warning and he mind. Or he can't make up his mind or you know it don't it don't like all we emotions might get it better we the lord don't have to worry about to say he get overpowered by anger or he overpowered you know or gonna have anxiety or something he don't have to deal with them thing yeah you know, you know the lord he know in, he know in that, that flesh they say you know he, he, to, he, he battling with you know he, this obstacle in your way yeah. you know and he had to go through you a battle no the Lord is not like that, you know, and 
as I just always say, you know, if the Lord used to think like men, we wouldn't have existed. Here. God. If the Lord was thinking <laughs> like these niggas and them, <laughs> we wouldn't have be here. So, you know, the Lord ways, you know, is not always. Right, the Lord, you know, he don't think think like how these how Jake's just think. The God. mindset, Jake's in. Oh, Jake's is? Nah. The Lord, you know, he don't be like that. You know, he ways, you know, it, it different. We can't even comprehend you, his. Okay. You know? Hotel, I I say, you know, don't search out things too deep, too hard for thee. Mm-hmm. You know, we not to know these things now. You know, that going and confuse you. Okay. That going and trouble you because uh, you <laughs> want to know certain things and it, 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 it will puzzle your, your little mind. It could hold so much. You know? So it shows that the Lord weighs, you know, it's it higher. You know? Okay. I know it, I know it, 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 it no limit, no, no <laughs> end, no, no end to reach, to say it, reach it capacity that it, you know. Come. The Lord is not like that. Come. You know, when, when all children, even when we were children, the question is always ask yourself, well, how would the Lord come about? Or who, if the Lord had a, had a father, you understand, if the Lord had parents, and how, how he come about? Yeah, and but... obviously, nobody around you had an answer, and they will never have an answer because they're too great for them to know. Because when the scriptures say hey, the Lord is the ancient of days, He was before days, He was before time. You wasn't before time. You understand? You was created. So when time was created, yeah, you was created in the right understand. So you can't see you can't understand in human beings do have the ability to understand infin infinity. They don't have the ability to understand nothing. Like how you could say nothing. Humans can't fathom what I mean. Right, the same way you can, you're not able to understand what a blind person would see. Right, you, you might tell you, you might close your eyes and say, well, they see in darkness, but it did not, because they don't have a retina, so they literally not seen. They see nothing. It have the, the human mind, the human brain is limited. It can't, it can't understand everything. In this, in this form, it wasn't made for. Now the angels and them, the angels and them have full knowledge of all these things. Right? Now you get that in, in um, the second is just, but the angels, the, the wisdom that the angels have is far superior to, to our thoughts. So much less the, the Heavenly Father. Mm. Yeah, the book of Matthew. Yeah, way beyond our, 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 <laughs> our minds, Can't. our thoughts. Book of Matthew chapter. 19 verse 26. Oh, sure. So Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. He said, But Yahweh beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Come. <laughs> the Lord is truly, truly an infinite being and, and with, with Yahweh. All things are possible, right? That way it means to be omnipotent, to be all powerful. So you might think, you might try to wonder, but how, boy? You know, like how could how could a being be that powerful? That way the Lord's name is He to be, He exists, He is. You understand? Before everything, He He controls every every single thing down to the the, the smallest atom. The Lord has power over. So it say with man this is impossible. You know, say hey, you're talking about um to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, it should never true Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Through that through the infinite mercies that the Lord will show to Israel, we will be saved. But it shows you also how limited man is. That there are there are things that are impossible for us to do. One of those things is to is to break free from these bodies. You can't break free from this body on your own. You understand? You can't, you can't overcome Esau on your own. You can't. All the Israel could unite. All are we. You understand? The whole nation could unite. And you still can't fight Esau. Esau, they might have moved. Esau just had to press up some buttons. And that the NRW, that the NRW nation right there. You know? So yeah, you can't overpower Esau on your own. You can't fight. You, you can't even fight this world and this flesh by yourself. Because when you're getting tempted, what you just do? We just call upon you. Just call upon what? The, with all, with your all things are possible. You just call upon your Hashem, your You don't call on yourself. 
everything you do, you just call on the Lord. No matter how big or how small it is. Because you know how inadequate you is. That you really have no strength to do anything whatsoever. So you call on the man that do. The man that control all things. Yeah, you know, even, you know, your mind, you know, and this, this, this flesh, that's get the best, that's get the best of you and, and, and overpower you, okay. you know, you know, much less, you know, to, to rise up against Esau, you know, as scripture say, you know, all weapons is now carnal, you know, the scripture has talked about, you know, Esau, you know, there's they flesh, you know, the horses is flesh and these things. Right, we can't rise up against Esau to deal with he. You know, and that is what David say, you know, you is the Lord gonna deliver we out of the hands that is too strong for thee. Right? As the brother say, you know, Esau just had to press a button, he just had to sit on home in your office and yeah, he press a button, you know, and send out a nuke. Nuke a city and he dies 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 the end. At the end of Jake. Right, we can't fight he, you know. So it shows that you know the scripture say you know he so called white man he, he can't perceive the things he think it. Go he, he wanna go out to see these planets, he wanna go out to the moon. But it's so far beyond he understanding that you know he can't reach out there, you need to think it. But he can't he can't reach out there. You know? He ain't no way to out there. Right? Can. You really look at you look at these other planets, right? These other mansions. You look at the vastness of the universe. You know you wonder what are the end of the universe? If it, if it, if it's a wall at the end of the universe, or if the universe infinite, whatever the case is, and they questions you ponder. You you ponder in the so deep, eh? The, the the heavenly hosts, the, the heavenly Father Yahweh and the angels, they don't ponder these things. You understand? Them don't think about this on a daily basis because they just them know that they understand. They just come on in the kingdom of heaven, the spiritual kingdom. They come on knowledge. You understand? All the things that you fight in to understand, this is common knowledge. They don't have to wonder how vast the universe is. Or how the sun does work or the moon and day and night and, and how time does. They don't have to wonder these things. The Lord say he foolishness is wiser than, than, than men. You know, he foolishness is wise. You know, if you get the book of Psalms 147 verse 5, I want to show you. Psalms 147 verse 5. Psalms 147 verse 5. He said, Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. <laughs> infinite, there's no way they, they unlimited. Yeah, they sound like infinite, omnipotent, omniscient being, like no bounds to his knowledge whatsoever. It's like, you know, you can't say, you know, the Lord might know this. <laughs> you know, without, oh, uh, it's limited that, you know, nah, he understanding is so great. He might know not know that. You know, he never do no kind of history. <laughs> you know, <laughs> You know, or to, or to reach that level. Okay. You know, you, know, you, you might you might be going through something, and you're telling yourself, hey, maybe this outside of the Lord's jurisdiction, <laughs> some kind of thing, some kind of crazy thing like that, and maybe the Lord is seeing this. You understand? But hey, every single life in itself originates from the ancient of days, reality, creation, everything that we know is originated from the heavenly father he created all things he created yahushai so hey the power we talking about right now is maybe yahushai so imagine the creator of yahushai right imagine a being that had the ability to create a being with that that have infinite knowledge scriptures say what i be do um thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were made by him and for him Every single thing, in the flesh, in the mind, in the soul, you understand, things are above, things beneath, the earth, all the planets, all the stars, the universe, everything was made by Yahushai. So it's obvious he understand everything about it. A man who make a computer, 
he know everything he know all the hardware he would know all the software right he would know everything about this about this creation that he created you know but we we are we are the creation so we as obvious we can understand we creator we in the system you understand you in this life you can't understand anything outside of it and i already lord set it up but when you die that shit these bodies eh, it really change the everlasting darkness because when you die all the things you just ponder you is not going to ponder nothing like nothing of that sort because you got it gonna be as i say common knowledge right you see these scientists they try to distinguish this universe and find this planet where her life and they talk about it had different universes and galaxies, black hole. They don't understand nothing they say. You understand? That's why they just say what? Well, theories. A theory is not a fact. You understand? A theory is a belief. You know? With no form of proof. They just believe this way it is, but they don't know. Right? They can't say this is a fact. That the universe is this size. Or that it had this amount of planets. You know? It's just, it's just theories. And you people, hey, you would die for science. This, this so far beyond the knowledge we have, you know. And that is just a, that is just a, that is a, all these inventions where they invent and you know to gain power and all these things. These things already created. You all yeah. know about these things already, you know. A lot of things you all wanna know, and can know, mm-hmm. right? But the heavenly Father, which we we scripture say. The understanding is infinite. Okay. It's so far beyond where you just think. Hmm. Right? Just like how your eyes alone can see a certain range. The Lord says your eyes 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So much less that. Much less you looking up at the sun and you just get blind by that light. And knowing the eyes of the Lord 10,000 times brighter than that. You just get sunlight so deep into the bottom of the sea. In certain depths, sunlight does reach. And imagine something 10,000 times brighter than that. Right? So it shows the Lord is unlimited access with everything. Everything where you could think, just think the Lord have that unlimited. Right? So I say you, everybody, you know, growing up as child want to know that same thing. You know, you who create God. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's it, it, it hard to, on your mind, that will puzzle you. That could send you mad. Okay. Right? Just okay. by trying to figure out how that is. Because to your understanding, you know, you came from a father mm-hmm. through the pleasures that came with sleep, through sex. Right? So you will look at that same way. That same thinking that, you know, that is how the Lord come. And that's why he say his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. Right? He exists. He just day Before everything, he just exists. You know, and that will puzzle you. That going and confuse you because you want to know. That, that, that impossible. How he just exists. Where he come from? He just can't exist. It and nobody just exists just so. It has to have a creator. Create something. That's like how the Lord create we who create He. You know, but that's so far beyond your knowledge, beyond your mind. You know? Hmm. Now I say it well. With men, with men it is impossible. But with Yahweh, all things are possible. Because, you, as, as the brother say, you would think that impossible because you know everything at a beginning. But in order for some, in order for, I uh, have creation. Creation could not create itself because if it had nothing, nothing can bring something, right? Zero multiplied by by zero is zero. Zero multiplied by a million is zero. You understand? You can't get nothing from zero. So it and I show you, you scientists, so have no sense. Your own maths, you understand? Your, your maths you teaching schools would show you that you can't get nothing from nothing. Zero multiplied by by any number will give zero so cre- nothing creation could not have created itself there needed to be something outside of 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 what we know as reality to create it and the thing that was outside of that 
car had car had not been creating it because remember the lord is all powerful and if you were to look at if you look at the definition of the word father right our meaning means the oxen which is the leader the strength and then you look at the word bar it means house so abba is the leader of the house the strength of the house that our that our father is so if the lord was to have a father that would be he leader but we know that the lord is on he is it on top yeah son he on top he don't have a he didn't come from nobody right yahweh shai we know yahweh shai come from yahweh we know the angels israel right we all came from true yahweh shai but but who who, who yahweh came from he did not come from anything you understand that he literally he name he is you understand he is he has been there before anything you understand he's been there before yahweh shai right so what make you as we were saying on the works what make you think the lord can give you something to eat you understand that not it not that deep it really not that deep for the heavenly father to do to give you something to eat you understand or to provide for you in these last days or not that's not no task for the lord to say he can have to work hard to get a plate of food for you no easy all things <laughs> is possible can everything everything all things you know is 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 possible with the heavenly father can you know it have nothing too hard for thee you know that he can do we can reach you know we can save right can then tell like yeah but um you watch up at norse mythology they just show you all gods is garbage you have to to is the god of thunder alone you know son is the god of thunder alone you are the old father odin who had to hang himself on a tree i believe for three days or three months whatever it was to inherit wisdom you know son they the garbage or we lord in other hang himself you know son because we lord can die firstly yeah how cannot die we lord in other hang himself to receive nothing yeah the son we god create all everything we god create wisdom itself you know son knowledge itself was created by the heavenly father no they so they so they so deep and you really check all this on our heights right if he create knowledge if he create understanding if he create wisdom what could be higher than he <laughs> boy, that he created the understanding you Can't. know right again now understanding that again that knowledge that was created by somebody Can. so you can mm-hmm. imagine that we know we're really here mm-hmm. right in psalm 14 in psalm 146 5 great is our lord and of great power his understanding is infinite that a man create <laughs> understanding do we all <laughs> how you just think the knowledge you gain man. somebody create that so you can imagine the mm-hmm. the knowledge that man have who create knowledge <laughs> these things when you really check it out you really can't compare the ways of the heavenly father he, he's so far beyond that is why he had a name he to be he exists mm-hmm. he alone and there's no gods beside him mm-hmm. so that shows when the lord make that statement that there's no power beside him right it shows that nobody in create he God. it ain't to say that he have a lineage and he lineage passed yeah. on from father to son to son to son no the tread alone there's no power beside him he is the ultimate power. He exists. He to be. He is. Right? But our our mind, these things will puzzle you. God. Because you look at you was created, and this is how you come about. This is the understanding you have. Hmm. But the Heavenly Father, way beyond that, He created that. We want we will <laughs> understand and know with the little things you understand and we have now. The Heavenly Father created that. God. So much less his ways, much less his wisdom, much less that we have. Because he created, he created the wisdom. To call it wisdom. Can't. To call it understanding. <laughs> he created that. So that show he almighty and powerful that he know everything. Because the little we have where we understand. And the man and your whole creator. You could imagine we understand, we have, we know. Right? When the Lord was creating, can you remember 
Yahushai was given a blueprint. So when the Lord created Yahushai, a blueprint was given. You know, Yahweh told Yahushai what to do because you read in Genesis chapter 1, is a plural word for God is Allah Hayam, which means God's rulers, divine ones. Right? So we and we understand those he did for no, he did predestined to be conformed. Right? So obviously they talking about that governing body. Right? Those men that were there, those spirits that were there before the found. So that just show how powerful the Heavenly Father is because Yahweh and those that are joined heirs with Yahweh Shai, which is the governing body, they themselves existed before him. Yes, and they existed before this earth too. Because it's in the beginning, right? In the beginning, beginning is, 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 is time. You understand? The powers created the heaven, right? The universe and the earth. And it was without form because it was, it, it was in its elemental stage. So it had the elements there, but they, wouldn't come, they didn't come together yet. So that is show how powerful Yahweh and the governing body is. So we are talking about Yahweh. Because them, them, with all that power, they needed a blueprint. They needed to know what to do. You understand? How to create grass, how to create water, how to create matter, how, how to create time, how to create the universe. You understand? If you look at the universe, what, what it really is, you understand? It's just, a, it's just a space. If you really think about it. You know? I, if, you, if you really think about the governing body, by the scriptures in, in Genesis, we see man, that when man was created, so the governing body created men. They created male and female, they created all the beasts, right? So if they had that power, and that kind of power was given to them by something more powerful than them, Yahweh didn't need a blueprint. He gave the blueprint, <laughs> you understand? Nobody didn't tell the Mosai what to tell them. That so so that he existed bef before who we know as wisdom. He, he pre exists that. That's why he could have given him a blueprint. Not to create no basic system, but to create life as we know it. And it was done perfectly. You understand? You know, it, it's not like to know that we know the head of woman is the man. And the head of the head, the, the head of woman is the man. And the head of the man is your shy. And the head of your shy is the heavenly father. And there we stop. <laughs> they didn't go any further to say the head of the heavenly father is so. So they didn't know. It just it just it stopped there. Damn. So we see that the Lord gave that blueprint. Because when you read in Hebrews 1, verse 2, he said, Had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So the Lord Damn. gave he that blueprint and appointed he here. Use the man for this job. Damn. Right? Use the man to supervise <laughs> this work here. Right? Get workers, get men. And all they do this for me. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave the order. He got the the, the, the the angels. And they did it. So when the Lord talked about let us do this. So you see it had Damn. company. The, the, the company of angels was with Damn. him. Our oh, image. Yeah. Right. So the Lord gave him that blueprint. Damn. You know. And you know to say in a way. Is that next man come up with an idea and give the heavenly father and the heavenly father just pass down the yeah. instruction? No. <laughs> Let me just say, your mortal brain it is like it not it's not allowing you to grasp the concept because you you you, you ponder in where the Lord learn that because you know everything you you know you learn it somebody had to teach it but the Lord didn't need a teacher you understand. He knew exactly how to create everything perfectly too like he, uh, he knew how to, that it didn't have a trial and error man when man making thing is trial and error right you make the system this way little faulty you had to do some adjustments right and you're continuing to go like that until you find the finished product the lord didn't have that the most i didn't have that the most i didn't make some say nah there's not so and scrap it no it was perfect from the beginning yeah. whatever he say was perfect that way you say you know everything you know you do it it was good Can't. so the lord a, a malfunction or do no trial error to say anyway uh this 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 man here you know he, he just in a man body but he's supposed to be a woman Can't. no the lord ain't make no error it was no trial and thing Can't. no the lord knew what he was doing he had a blueprint he make male he make female he ain't make hmm. to say you know a female supposed to, that she's supposed to be a man 
you know, a, a man supposed to be a, a woman, but they said a man body. Mm-hmm. You know, like how, you know, he saw the look to say. You know, the Lord, they make no mistakes. The work of the Lord is perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. No trial and errors. <laughs> perfect. Mm-hmm. In all things. Precept, quick precept, sir, chapter 23, verse 20, it says, He knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. Perfected, you understand? They were perfect. Even Esau. Esau is perfect. You understand? He mightn't be perfect according to our laws, which were made for us. But according to the laws that the Lord gave him, he is perfect. Esau was made to be the enemy. He was made to be the adversary, the devil, the serpent. He was made to, to, to kill us. He was made to, to bring harm upon us. Right? O Syrian, the rod of mine anger. Right? So Esau is perfect in his ways. Yet yeah, son, even us, our imperfections are perfect. And that why these, that why these people, they just can't understand that the Lord is the founder of all things. Because they just believe God versus Satan. And they think Satan is evil, God is good. But no, the Lord is all. The Lord is the founder of all things. And that's why the precepts say all things work together to, for good to them that love Yahweh. Because evil was created by the Heavenly Father in order to bring Israel into, into that, that state that they have to be in. You know, you needed that necessary evil. So Esau is perfect. We are imperfectly perfect because the Lord created us this way, subject us unto vanity. It says, um, the angels which kept not their first estate, he reserved them into chains of everlasting darkness. He put them in these bodies. He did that, you know. So if, even the animals, are every, everything that the Lord established was perfect. Even if he established something one way in the beginning, and you seen it going a different way. Don't think hey, the Lord set it so and it, it didn't it didn't work out. If it going on, it going on its own. Now is the Lord the Lord flip it up. You understand? It was necessary. So he flip it, you understand? And, and that is exactly what's going on today. So you watching these people mutilating themselves and saying, Well, eh, I was born a female spirit. I just so happen to be placed in a male body and all and thing. And niggas believe in that. It's just the Lord, the Lord making them believe that, right? It's a, the deceive and the deceiver are mine, and he would send them strong delusion, you understand? He sent that delusion. Well, that is a strong belief with them. Can. You know, and that is why the Lord say a strong delusion, something strong. It, it will make you believe that that is Can. it, that that is the truth, and not knowing you being deceived, right? There is um, 2 Ezra 16 verse 54. He said, Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their mind, their heart goes back to their mind. So the Lord knows all things. Every single thing. There is no hiding place. You know, to say where you would go, where you could hide, where you're thinking. The Lord knows everything. He created us. He created wisdom. And I showed the, the, the that the Lord wisdom, he foolishness, wiser than all your little knowledge with all your feet, all you have. Because if you are, you are righteous wisdom, and you are unrighteous wisdom. And because it's knowledge, you know, it's like it have good things you could learn, it have evil things that you could learn. And the Lord created the boat. So the Lord could, could make you believe a lie. You understand? That why you, they genuinely believe that. The same way we know this, this truth to be true, they believe that them lies true. They can't tell them otherwise. Oh, wow. They actually, because they show how strong it is. You actually cutting off your penis. You bringing harm to yourself. Force you believe you a woman. And is the Lord, you know, the Lord, is the Lord make you believe that? And you run with it full, full, full speed. You don't know any better. Because scripture, is the Lord, the imagination, the heart. He, he, yeah, he knew all things ever they, they were created. The mind was created. Even scientists, scientists still can't explain how is it the brain able to produce memory to the fact that you could remember a scent 
without anything being in your by your nose you could remember how something does smell it don't have to be in front of your face so you could remember scent in your mind you could remember things that you see you could remember like you could play you could recite a song and hear noise in your head and it have nothing going on out in front of you they can they can explain that they can explain dreams they can explain why we just sleep it have plenty things they don't understand about the mind because it there's mortal men they're not they're not ready for them to, they're not ready for that height to understand to understand the mind the spirit because that is proof in itself that's proof in itself that you actually have a, a spirit residing within you within this fleshly body that is why you have an inner man that is why you could talk to yourself in your own head that's why you could you could remember things that happened 10 years ago and all them things right you could, ima you could imagine you could imagine things without without having seen it you could imagine you have imagination that is that that is that inner man you know like emotions and things so they, they, they do it scientists just say how emotions is um it's just chemicals but they don't they don't understand they don't understand it like all they could see but we know that the heavenly father who created wisdom have the capability of loving so we know that love hate all these emotions is more than the flesh it, it's spiritual you know that is why if, it, if you look at the brain the way the brain was designed this body's main priority and purpose is to survive so that's why to the flesh it don't matter where you eat so long as it has calories energy it don't matter who you have sex with because it's pleasure is dopamine and I get to reproduce. So it don't matter what it is I release in my seed. That is how the flesh was designed. And in certain in certain cases a man would let's say a man have a wife. A man would love his wife so much. He would override his flesh and die for his wife. Now if your brain designed for to, to save yourself and your survival, how is it that you, true love, going to die for somebody else? It shows you that love have nothing to do with this flesh. Love is a spiritual emotion. Is that inner man? That why to show how when you love your Hashem, you shy. You you feeling pain like that all you getting pain, and you still love the Lord. True pain. So it's you're not of the flesh. You love you love the Lord with that with your heart, right? Your inner man, your soul, your, your all your might. You know, that's something. Um, just had this last precept in second is just chapter four start at one it say and the angel that was sent unto me whose name was uriel gave me an answer right so there's a conversation between Ezra and the angel uriel verse two and said he said thy heart had gone too far in this world and thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the mosai so as was, was basically trying to question the Lord's ways because Ezra was wondering why is it Israel in this state that they was in why is it Israel in this low state you know so the angel come to him and he say he say your heart gone too far you're like you're going too deep you trying to fathom the you trying to fathom the wisdom of the man that made wisdom right so because all the things Ezra knew was created and given to him by the heavenly father who he trying to challenge which three then said i yea my lord and he answered me and said i am sent to show thee three ways and to set forth three similitudes before thee whereof if thou canst declare me one i will show thee also the way that thou desirest to see and i shall show thee from whence the wicked had cometh so the angel basically say i had three for you if you could get one correct i will show you i will show you that which you require Verse 5, and I said, Tell on my Lord. Then said he unto me, Go thy way. Weigh me the weight of the fire. Or measure me the blast of the wind. Or call me again the day that is past. Then answered I and said, What man is able to do that? That thou shouldest ask, ask such things of me? So the angel asking Ezra to weigh fire. You understand? <laughs> to put fire on a scale and weigh it. He can't do that. He said to call... call um call me again the day that is past so he's telling us just to call call forth yesterday 
it's just do have the ability to do that because why it's just subject to time so when the when yes yesterday were already gone and it's just can't get it back but the lord could you understand because yeah how about shame shy was before time the ancient of days he pre-exists time you understand the lord has control of the lord could call for yesterday you understand the lord could call for yesterday the lord could call for two thousand years ago the lord could go into the future you understand but Ezra couldn't because they show you that in them um what he saw us always be talking about when you go back go back to the past and time machine right? he wanna he saw can't build no time machine he saw the earth could go on for five hundred thousand years Esau will never build a time machine, you understand? Because he will never, that, that kind of power that is too much for a mortal. Esau don't know where to start to build a time machine. But the Lord, the Lord could call for yesterday. The Lord could go back to yesterday that done go on for you. you know? Okay, remember the scripture say a, a day with the Lord is a thousand years so we. You understand? So the, heaven, the, the heavens are, are higher. It say, verse 7, he said unto me, if I should ask thee, how great dwellings are in the midst of the sea, or how many springs are in the beginning of the deep, or how many springs are above the firmament, right? Proving it have water above the firmament, which is the ozone layer. They say, or oh, which are the outgoings of paradise? Peradventure thou wouldest say unto me, I never went down into the deep, nor as yet into hell, neither did I ever climb up into heaven. Nevertheless, no. Have I asked thee but only of the fire and the wind and of the day where through thou hast passed and of things which from from which thou canst not be separated and yet canst thou not give me no answer of them? Ezra had dealing with fire, with the time, with the wind, yet he unable to, to grasp the understanding of the things around him. So how could he possibly grasp the things that are in heaven? Or the ways of the heavenly father, he can't. Yeah. You know, a precept here for you. There's Isaiah 40, start at verse 28. Now, two precepts. Okay. Isaiah 40, verse 28. He say, Has as thou not known, as thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the he earth, fainted not, neither is weary, neither is no searching of his understanding. Okay. <laughs> Neither is no searching out his understanding. Or you could try to search out the most high wisdom or search out, you know, he understanding how, how he think. Damn. You can't. Hmm. Right there, Psalms 145, verse 3. He said, Great is the Lord Yahweh Basham Yoshai, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. <laughs> Can't search it out. Unsearchable. That's why he saw he, he can't perceive the things he think it. God. He wanna seek out the most high. That is the same thing what they try to do in the Tower of Babel. God. They want to serve <laughs> the Lord. They wanna see <laughs> dwelling place. They can't. Hmm. Right? Scripture has talk about it is it is wider than the earth, deeper than the sea. He saw him, he saw no reason. 5% of the yeah. ocean will you discover. You ain't even going down to see way to the bottom there. You ain't even yeah. know where the end of the, 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 the bottom of the, 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 the sea is. You ain't reach no way. But you mm. want to search out the heaven? Mm. You can't. Right? Yeah. There is no searching of his understanding. You all can't understand the ways of the heavenly father. The want to search him out or to search out the dwelling place. Mm. Or to know. Scripture talk about he can't find the depths of man's heart. <laughs> How you can try to perceive the things you think it. Um, you know? Mm -hmm. Like to show you, hey, the Mosai, as I was, I was just saying, the things that we, we, we try to wrap our heads around, the Lord doesn't understand. So, fire. Let's just scare away fire, but hey, the Lord, the Lord don't know everything about fire. You know, sir? Yeah, just scare away fire. Let's say if it's one pong or two Can. pong or three pong of fire <laughs> or four pong of fire. Can. You don't, you don't know where to start. Yeah, how you gonna win fire? Yeah, the sun. You see how heavy it is, how light it is. Can. Oh, we put it up on a scale. That's what burn your skin. Can. Cause even we eye, even we eyes, as the brother was saying, we side limited. 
but not just with distance. If let me say an explosion take place five thousand let me say in your peripheral and an explosion take place in order for your physical eyes to see it the light from the explosion so the sun had to hit the light from the explosion to then hit your retina so let me say it happen let me say it happen no you know see it yeah gonna see it as it happened because the light I hit your yet you understand so wherever you looking at it's like you seen it after because the light the light had to hit your eyes first but the like angels and things they wouldn't have that issue they don't have fleshly eyes them could see magnetic fields you understand like oh you you could watch around in the atmosphere and you could only see objects that have a certain size they could they could see atoms they don't need a microscope to see atoms and electrons and could they create I wish I literally cre created electrons, you understand? Because that, that is what matter is. You look at any object around you, it's made of atoms. You know, whether it be like gold, whether it be gold atoms come together to form what you actually see on your finger around your neck. You know, um, a concrete block, you understand? Different atoms make up that, and the Heavenly Father, through the Spirit, well, Yahweh Shai through the spirit and the power, he heavenly father and the governing body. Them actually was creating atoms. You know, see the earth was without form and void. That is literally the elements. And then it shows you, he said, let there be light. But the sun and the moon wasn't created yet. So that was talking about the illumination of the elements. How them know to illuminate things so small that your eyes can't even see? Because hey, they don't need no magnifying glass to see, to see that. <laughs> so, they don't need no apparatus to, to see atoms or to see anything other matter. You know, so that, that is the, the things we're talking about right now. The angels had that, that power. You understand? The angels had them kind of power. So imagine you have shy. And then imagine the, the being that gave you have shy that power. He gave him it. You understand? Imagine the being that, the, the being that gave them that understanding. <laughs> Who created the understanding for them to understand? <laughs> You know, anything else? Hey, and with that, you will be system was edifying. Giving all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that do rule by a great stone. Peace and salutation to all you who came out there pushing this gospel in sincerity and truth. We say, um, Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Maybe by a kalam. Shalom. Shalom.